What's up and welcome guys to the Hood Casino. My name is Big Cheese. Wanted to come to you guys today. Uh, wanted to start offering you guys a volume by volume casino craps guide uh, to help everyone understand the game of casino craps a little bit better. Seems like a lot of subscribers like the way I kind of slow it down and kind of break things down piece by piece and explain everything in intricate detail. Um, so I would like to take advantage of that and hopefully offer something that would help uh, some beginners um, get into the game of craps and even help maybe some veterans that already know about the game of craps and want to know a little bit more. Um, so in volume one, what I want to focus on in volume one uh, is who the shooter is. Uh, I also want to uh, focus on the come out role and we're also going to talk about the pass line bet and the don't pass line bet. So uh, if you'll notice in this Craps Gaming Guide, volume by volume, what we're going to do is we're going to add on to each piece of the game little bit by little bit. And we're going to try to build up to it. Uh, so we're going to start from the very beginning of the game. And the first thing we want to talk about in volume one is we're going to talk about the shooter. All right. And the person whose turn it is to roll the dice, that is what we call the shooter. All right. The result of the shooter's roll will determine the outcome for all players that are playing, whether you're playing with the shooter or you're playing against the shooter. Okay. So now let's talk about the shooter's come out roll. So what that means is on a come out roll, you're going to look over on the craps table and you're going to notice there's a puck. That puck's going to have an off side and that puck has an on side. When that puck is off, that means the shooter is having a come out roll. On that come out roll for that shooter, you are looking, if you're playing with the shooter, you are looking for that shooter to shoot a 7 or an 11 on a come out roll when this puck is off. And that shooter, if you're playing with the shooter, you win with a 7 or an 11. If you're also playing with that shooter on the come out roll when that puck is off, you will lose with a 2, a 3, or a 12. Okay? When that shooter establishes a point, for example, 10 comes out before any of these numbers, that is now the shooter's point. This puck will now be turned on. When this puck is turned on and you're playing with the shooter, you are now hoping that the shooter shoots that 10 again before that shooter hits a seven, okay? All right, so that is our come out roll. If the shooter hits the 10 or the shooter sevens out, this puck is gonna be turned back off. We now have a new come out roll, okay? So every time this puck is off, we are establishing a new come out roll. Okay, so now let's move forward to now the pass line bet and the don't pass line bet. All right, so first off, let's talk about the pass line bet. Well, on the pass line bet, if we go back and talk about the come out roll, what that means is on the pass line bet, this means that you are playing with the shooter. So what you're hoping on this come out when the button is off is you're hoping as a pass line better is that the shooter shoots a seven or an 11 at the beginning, their first come out roll. You win even money on a seven and 11 on a shooter's come out roll when the button is off, okay? If you're playing with the shooter and the button is off and the shooter shoots a two, a three, or a 12, your pass line bet will lose, okay? So now, again, on a pass line bet, you are playing with the shooter. So on the shooter's first roll, if the shooter establishes a point, again, for example, the point is 10, as a person who is betting on the pass line, you are betting that the shooter is gonna hit a 10 again before that shooter shoots a seven. If that shooter hits a 10 again before they shoot a seven, as a better on the pass line, you will win even money. The puck will be turned off, and we will establish a new come out roll, okay? If the point is 10 and you're betting with the shooter and the player, or I'm sorry, the shooter shoots a seven before they shoot their 10, then you will lose your pass line bet. The puck will go off and a new come out is now established. Okay? So now let's talk about the don't pass line bet, all right? On a don't pass line bet, this means that you are now playing against the shooter, which means on a come out roll, if this puck is off, if the shooter rolls a seven or 11, you will lose your don't pass bet, okay? If 
on the come out roll when this puck is off and you're playing against the shooter and the shooter rolls a two or a three, you will win even money on this don't pass line bet. If the shooter rolls a 12, your pass line bet will push. Okay? Now, exactly opposite of a pass line bet is your don't pass line bet. Meaning that now, once a point is established and this button is turned on, for example, the point is 10, you are now hoping that the shooter shoots a seven before they hit their point. If the shooter shoots a seven before a 10, you're gonna get paid even money. The button is gonna go off and we're gonna establish a new come out roll, okay? If the shooter hits the 10 before they seven out, you as a don't pass line better will lose your pass or your don't pass line bet. The button will now go off and we will establish a new come out roll. Okay? So that's the end of volume one, guys. Just the beginner steps of casino craps. Wanted to kind of walk you guys through it. Talked about the shooter. All right. We talked about what a come out is. We talked about our pass line bet and we talked the basics of our don't pass line bet. Again, we're planning on coming along with a lot more volumes, guys, give you a lot more advanced guides to the game of Casino Crap. So be looking for those volumes. They're going to be coming out really soon. Uh, if you haven't caught one, make sure you go back and go to the very beginning. Uh, uh, look at each volume piece by piece, uh, because if you don't understand, if you get the volume three, volume four, volume five, and you're not understanding where we're at, just go back to volume one. We're going to do this step by step, piece by piece. Um, so everything builds on each other until we can get up to those advanced methods. Okay. So I hope you guys uh, got a lot from this. Um, please drop some comments, drop some questions. If you have any questions, I'll answer them to the best of my ability. And if I can't answer them, I'll definitely make sure I'll find the answer for you. Okay. So love you guys. Thank you so much for subscribing. Continue to hit that like button and I hope you have some good shooting.